What is going on, everyone? Welcome to today's video. My name is Mike. Today, we're going to be jumping back here into American Truck Simulator. We're going to be doing a quality of life video today. A little bit of a kind of a help to you guys if you guys are looking to make a new profile and you want to copy all of your controls from one pro profile to another instead of sitting there messing with it for 75.27 hours. This video is going to make sure you guys are ready to rock and roll within seconds. Let's jump right into it. All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. If you guys are new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button. We're on the big road of 30,000 subscribers here on the channel. If you guys like the video and it helped you out, make sure to give it a big old thumbs up. And let me know down in the comment section below, too, what you guys want to see next on a quality of life style video like this here. So today, we're going to be going over the controls, right? How do I copy my controls from one profile to another? Now, listen, if you have a new profile and you have no other profiles and you're new to American Truck Simulator, you're going to have to, you're going to, have to do it manually again, Okay. But we're gonna go over today's video. If you have a main profile and you're looking to make another one, maybe an owner operator series, maybe a vanilla profile, maybe a different modded profile, this is what's gonna help you guys out. So first things first, what we're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to jump inside of your main profile, right? This is the profile with the meat and potatoes. This is the profile that's got all your controls, everything dialed in. So make sure you go ahead, jump into this profile. We're gonna hit the escape key, there it is. And what we're gonna do is make life a lot easier. Life is easy, let's make it easy, right? Save game. And we can just label it um, controls, okay? And we're gonna hit save. Now, I'm gonna go back to the launch pad. I'm gonna walk you through this step by step. And we're gonna go ahead and do manage profiles, new profile. And we'll do a mic pet test. All right. So this is like you just coming in. We got a brand new profile. We got a truck. We got a company logo. Name is modded transport. Okay. Now we're going to create the profile. We're going to jump right into the game. I'm going to hit skip wizard. Notice I hit skip. I have a wheel. I didn't set it all up. So now we're gonna jump here into American Truck Simulator. We're gonna have all of our beautiful welcoming screens. And I'll tell you what too, like I love the vanilla variant too. Uh, we're gonna pick a spot. New Mexico looks like the one for me right now. We're gonna skip the tutorial. And as soon as this loads up, we'll be ready to rock and roll. And here we go, ready, boom. Welcome to American Truck Simulator like we've never been here before. Skip through it all. Now here we are. Now, if I hit the W key, truck just fires up and I can hit the W key. Look at the wheels turn right with the Good old mouse and keyboard kind of thing here, you know, all the fun jazz. It's all scuffed, right? Now, too, if we go here, I'll show you guys real quick. Go to the options here. Go to your keys and buttons. You guys will notice, like, nothing is here, right? Look, all this is N-A, N-A, N-A. Everything's kind of scuffed, okay? Now, what you're going to want to do is I hit save again. And I'll just type it as a new profile or something. You can save it whatever you'd like to, okay? And there's a reason for why we're going to save it. So, let's just go quit the game and jump into the desktop, and I'll show you where we'll go from here. All right, guys, here we are at the desktop, okay? The game is closed. Make sure the game is, in fact, closed. Now, what you're going to want to do is you're going to open up your folder right here, okay? It is underneath the Documents American Truck Simulator, right? Your main is where your mod folder is and all this other fun stuff. You're going to see this lovely thing right here. It is called Steam Profiles. We're gonna click Steam Profiles, and now here you have all your current profiles in your American Truck Simulator. I'm going to click Date Modified, and I'm gonna click it one more time. Now you notice that the dates are in chronological order. The one here on the bottom is the latest. 8-8 is the last time I logged into it. And you'll notice here up at the top, the most recent one I logged into was actually just right now today at 9-5, which is September 5th at 5-11 p.m. Now, Remember, the new profile is what you guys just saved. So that is this one right here. This is the new profile. So what you're going to want to do is click the one underneath it because now this one here is going to be the one that was prior to it, right? This is the one that you were just at. And you'll notice here, you'll see like I got some transmissions in it and whatnot. What you're going to want to do is see it says controls. Just do a right click, copy it. Uh, how do we copy from this side of things? copy and then we'll hit the back key and we'll go into the top one again and we'll right click paste replace the file yes boom baby that's all you need to do close out of this and then we're going to fire back up american truck simulator 
All right, guys, so we are back here in American Truck Simulator. We are going to click our Mike Pet Test Profile. We're going to jump right back into it, and now we're going to see the Kenworth here, but with a different kind of feel to it, right? Because now it should have all of my controls. So it's so funny how it now went to daytime. But now the W key still starts my truck and will move it. But if we go here, options, and we go into our keys and buttons and controls, you will now notice all of my buttons now have been added. Okay. Now, notice how that all is there. All of your buttons from your button box or whatever you have previously set will transfer over. There are going to be a few tiny little things here and there that you might need to adjust. Uh, that could be possibly in the gameplay, right? So the gameplay, we didn't switch over. So if you are on a 900 degree wheel, you're good. I use 1350, so I have to bring this back up to 1350. Uh, small little things like that. Just make sure you double check everything. But the headache from going in and out and hitting each and every single individual key is now a thing of the past. So make sure you go through all of it. And then if you guys are using an eye tracker such as Toby or Track IR, make sure you scroll way down underneath here and go ahead and hit your eye tracking there. Make sure your wheel is connected there too. You'll see all your joy axes and all this other stuff will be there. I'm hitting my pedals as we speak. And don't forget too, if you're going to not do automatic, switch it back to H shifter and then come on down. And whether you want to run a 13, 18, 10, or vice versa. And now the profile is ready to rock and roll. Guys, I hope this helped you guys out in making a new video or ma making a new video. <laughs> Rewind that. I hope that helps you guys out in making a new profile so you guys are able to maybe enjoy a little bit of a different aspect in the game and maybe make a different style profile, like maybe an owner operator profile, maybe a no GPS profile. But. That is going to do it for today's video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure if you did, may hit the like button. Let me know down in the comment section if you helped you out a little bit. And also let me know what you want to see on the next one. Appreciate y'all. We'll catch you guys on the flip. And always keep the hammer down.